I'm Mr. Shane Grady. He's the ma marketing manager for Duracell Power Forward. Um, you guys have been here a month. Yeah. You've been distributing batteries and you've been doing all sorts of things. Why don't you give us an idea how it's gone? Um, it's, gone. Well, it's gone great. It's, it's quite a feat to get here. Uh, yeah, I'm so grateful again. Yeah, so many people that are affected. To think that an entire uh, territory and island of uh, 3.7 million people were affected with the power outage, it's, it's huge for us. And that's um, it's obviously where we come into to play and help out from a power standpoint. Okay, yeah. and um, you know, you've, you've been here, like we said, a month. How many towns have you hit? You know, it's, we've been so busy, I think right around 40 at okay. this point. 40 out of the 78, and we're still going. You're so, still going. Yeah. How much longer do you think you'll be here? You know, it's hard to say. We're really looking that over weekly and okay. seeing where we're at with our inventory and, and who we've been able to help and who else, you know, who really needs the help. And then just fun facts, how many batteries have you given out? Do you know? I, I'll say this. At this point, we've brought, we've brought um, 100 tons of batteries here. Okay. At this point, each truck, we've got two of them here, as you can see, can hold right at just under 4,000 pounds worth of batteries. Okay. So um, we've gone through a lot. It's 4,000 pounds. I mean, how many batteries in a pound? I know that they're different sizes and all that, but I mean. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know the answer yeah, okay. to that. They, okay. they range so much between a D and, and a AAA that the weight is, is really skewed there. But it hold, each truck holds a lot of batteries. Okay. And how, how have people reacted to you getting into their towns and their places of, you know, where they live and where there's obviously no power? The water. You know, we've obviously been welcomed with open arms. It's been great. You know, people are so emotional. They're, they're going through so much, and the fact that we're here to help them and with something so key as power has been great. Now, this truck has not only batteries, but you have charging stations and you have um, Wi-Fi, satellite Wi-Fi, right? We do definitely. Yeah, the satellite's brand new on this truck. Um, you know, it's, it's just to help out with the communication, help people reach out to loved ones, do their business. You know, get on, on email and, and take care of things. And all of it is free, right? It's definitely free. Yeah, it's just our way of giving back. Yeah, this truck, if you like, I'll show you, um, like I said, we carry AA, AAA, Cs, Ds, 9 volts, as well as 6 volt batteries. All those standard batteries for your flashlights and radios, but it really goes well beyond that into you know, home health aids, like daily dialysis machines and ventilators, and helping them out as well. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. so, yeah. Literally just wow. a ton okay. of D batteries here, okay. which is probably the largest need here in Puerto Rico at this right. time. It's really hard to find D right. batteries. Okay. We also carry 6, six volts for the lantern flashlights. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, like I said, double A, triple A as well, C's and the D's here. But Let me ask you, I mean, I'm sure you've had experiences with other disasters. How does this one compare? You know, the scope of this one is massive. You know, have I seen areas that have been devastated more so? Yes. You know, tornadoes that damaged an entire half town, which is almost missing at the time of when we arrived. But here, to think that 3.7 million people, the entire island, are without power, or at least was without power, and still and, and half of those, uh, half of the population without power is just crazy. You know, the, you know we've, we've driven all the way from Aguadilla, all the way down to Calabria, mm -hmm. and um, across the island. And like I said, we were about 40, 44, somewhere around there, townships at this point, and um, the damage has just been widespread. I mean, just the entire island. Now, talk to me about logistics, because I know you guys had to get these massive trucks on the plane, right? Yeah. So yeah. talk to me about that. That was something in itself, you know, to, to pack both of these trucks and 37 bins of, of uh, supplies as well as batteries. I believe 30 of those pallets were um, all uh, batteries. That was quite a feat to fly on a plane. And, you know, I, I actually flew with them, which was something. And then since then, we've had two shiploads, uh, shipments of uh, batteries as well, uh, bringing us up to the 100 tons. We're just over that. Oh, you're batteries. over 100 tons. We are. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you started at 30, yes? We did. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, let's, let's walk around the truck so you can show us a little bit more about you know, sure, it's yeah. features, because there's also charging stations over Definitely, there, right? yeah, this is a new cubby system that we put in, in the trucks. It's just from a quick dispersal, just handing out, we'll usually have a line running by, obviously. Mm -hmm. And like I mentioned, AA, AAA, Cs, Ds, and 9 volts, or 6 volts are right over here. And just hand those out as quickly as possible, We're trying to affect and help as many people as we can. Okay. Over here, we can charge up to 72 mobile devices with this truck, and actually both trucks have the same capabilities. So really trying to encourage and help those phone calls back to mom, back to their loved ones, and uh, just trying to, trying to connect them. And do you see people of all ages, of all, you know, we walks did, yeah, of life? Yeah, I mean, okay. it's, it's, it's all the way from the elderly, all the way down to young, young kids coming up to the truck and just trying to help them all. How many hours on average do you spend, you know, in a place, in a town? You know, it really depends. It's, it's quite unique here. So this truck full carries really about 3,800 to 4,000 pounds of batteries. In the States, that would probably take us about three days to go through. Here in Puerto Rico, per town, it takes us between two and three hours to empty out the entire truck. So um, there's definitely a huge and strong need here, and um, that's why we're grateful to be here and help. Wow. Okay, yeah. so let's keep on walking. Sure. Let's look at the rest of the truck. Yeah, so this truck hopefully is all full for you. Not enough, but um, this is our, our backup supply of batteries. And, um, oh, there's more batteries. Yeah, as you can see, 
can see it's a little dirty, but uh, no, that's, that's, that's 30 that's days in in Puerto Rico here. Part of the work, sure. Yeah, so we've got a nice tent to help out with the, the rain and the sun. Uh huh. Yeah. How has about, that been? I mean, you've been hit with major rain showers, probably. Yeah, you know, I have learned that it, it rains a lot here in Puerto Rico. You know, so it's uh, it's just something you deal with. You know, it's just a little rain problem getting wet and, um, and it's quite hot as well. So how many guys or how many people do you have on staff when you go to these towns? Is it? You know, it fluctuates without a doubt. So we uh, have up to nine or so okay. and then we um, usually within the truck it holds about three, three to four people. Okay. Per town. Yeah. All right. So you, you do have quite a staff. Cause... We do. Yeah. It, it, it would be interesting at some point to get numbers, you know, like how many people, I don't know if you're counting. Definitely. We, we do count. It's just we have been so so busy lately in, in, in helping that come out in the really end. step back and review the numbers. Sure. But once we do, we'll love to share them with you. That sounds good. Yeah. All right. So power forward four. How many of these trucks do you have? We actually have five across the continental uh, United States. Okay. Um, four of them are mobile. One of them is our big guy. It's called our community center. That's the one we'll bring out in the States, at least for um, a disaster that lasts for two weeks or longer when the power's going to be up that long. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and well, it, and this is probably obviously the first time you've done this in Puerto Rico, yes? Definitely, definitely, yeah. So now, what lessons have you learned? I mean, I'll, 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 uh, hopefully not, but if we have another um, situation, what lessons have you learned about coming down to the island? And you know, we, we learned so much from each deployment uh, here in Puerto Rico. I mean, obviously, logistically getting here was, was quite a feat, and that was unique in itself. And um, the quantity of batteries needed as well. Um, we're just learning and taking it all in, and we'll review the numbers afterwards when we get back to the states and, um, and try to see how we can be how we can better the program and go from there. Awesome. All right. Yeah. So let's yeah, walk sure. around some more. Yeah. This side is really the mirrors the other side, but show you that we're this is, well. This is uh, our refrigerator system here. And, uh, uh, our satellite setup as yeah, well. Yeah, the satellite. That's yeah, and that one happens to be locked right now, so it's just doors and batteries as well. So you said that this truck was outfitted with the satellite at the last minute to just for Puerto Rico? It was. You know, we were looking into the massive power outage and then the lack of communication in the area. We just wanted to help as much as possible. Within the last, uh, it was really days, probably five days of leaving, uh, we were able to track down the satellite, hook it up on the truck, and, and get it down here to help. And is it the only satellite you have right now? It or is. It, uh, on the it truck? is, yes. This is our first wow. movement in that way. And, um, it's, it's been great, you know, so we'll, we'll go from there and learn from it and, and see about outfitting our other trucks with them as well. So if you have one message, you know, to deliver um, as part of your experience, what would that be? You know, there's a lot of hope out there, you know, it's unique and talking to so many people and then the hugs and the crying we get. It's just all about uh, the fact that Puerto Rico will bounce back and, um, and quickly, hopefully, you know, so it's just, you know, have some hope and we'll be there to help you and help you power back up. Thank you so much. No, sir. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you.